When it comes to the pen tool in Photoshop, there's a few different uses for it. Now, the most common one is the selection and we all use it to remove a background or remove a certain selection. When you actually take a look at the pen tool, it has more to offer. For example, if we wanted this image to have a stroke around it and you didn't want to remove the background, you just wanted it to be selecting the person or going around it, the first tool that you would think to go to is the line tool. Now this one can be great, but the problem with this one is that all the lines are straight and they do connect together, but you won't be able to do a curved line. So this just kind of ruins the whole custom stroke effect and having a smooth stroke around the person. So if we were gonna go around this area right here, it just really wouldn't look as great. And most of the time your selection will have gaps between them where you've accidentally left it out or didn't connect them together. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of all these and the best way to get the custom stroke is to go to the pen tool, go to where it says path and set this one to shape. In the shape options, you want to make sure that the fill is on none and you want to keep the stroke on a specific color that you want. Make sure that it's big enough, so go with eight pixels. The next thing that you need to do, and you must do this, is go to this line here, go to where it says align, and then in here, set it to the middle one. What this will do is it will make the stroke be outside of the line, rather than the default one, which is this one. This is just to fill it in, it's going to put it around the selection and of course the last option is to do it on the outside but you want the one that's in the middle and this one pretty much makes them both the same on each side outside and inside and now if we take a look at the shape it is a lot better you can even create shapes like this you can even turn this into a selection if you hold control and click on it but that's not what we want. So let's just get rid of this one and let's go around the person. I'll show you what it looks like. And now you can see that this looks a lot more better if we convert this into a smart object, you will see that is highlighted this a lot nicer. We can also change the color by going in here. But anyway, that's been my quick video on the pen tool. This was just a method that I found that was quite useful, especially for if you are going to highlight a certain object or you wanted to make something stand out more. If you'd like to see more Photoshop tutorials, click on the channel, subscribe if you are new and want to see more tutorials. But anyway, this has been Vertic Designs and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.